So often when you buy a piece of land and you employ the architect to come up with these most amazing ideas and on paper they look fantastic but practicality they're just not right but I have to say this one really does hit the nail on the head. So I think so often we try and play things safe but it really feels like a slice of almost California has come here to Akel with this beautiful gem in its own little oasis. I think now as well with so many of these TV programs showing open plan living, which seems very on vogue, the current owners here wanted to recreate that open plan feel, but one thing I think they have absolutely done to perfection is segregate this open plan space with this beautiful panelling to create a rather lovely sumptuous seating area, but still feeling part of that great kitchen. And actually open plan living is fantastic, so sociable, but it's always quite nice to have a little bit of quiet space where you can close the doors off and actually relax and get away from it all. The current owners worked very closely with the architect and they were very insistent on having that zinc butterfly roof, which then enabled the building to kind of form below into the different angles and the lighting to get a really almost zen-like feel to the building. I'm not still in the main house. I've actually come across the drive here into a bit of a more traditional kind of conversion which is currently used as a really profitable Airbnb. So whilst the uh, Airbnb's got a very different feel to the main house, equally I think no expense has been spared in here to create this sort of very sumptuous one bedroom holiday let annex. But just next door we've got a great gym as well, should you fancy that morning workout. And again, fulfilling as much purpose and need that you may have here, the owners have created a superb little self-contained studio, office, workroom. So it's really apparent here that you know all the hard work has been done creating that beautiful contemporary home. Partially the landscaping's been done, but there's so much more scope for you to create what I would say is a true oasis in an idyllic location. So at the end of the day, what is a grand design? Well, you could argue money, glass, zinc, all sorts of things. But one thing I really do enjoy about this house, it's a home, even though probably that budget didn't stay on track.